the the one number it gives us in terms of the relationship between the contact time and the flight time but we felt for us that that one number was a little bit too redundant in the information it was given us and we needed to be a little bit more a little bit more specific and looking at the contact time by itself and also the flight time um by itself okay so we will group all our players on a quadrant and as we can see here to the bottom left We've got our slow and low players. So from the 10-5 hop test, these are players that have got really slow ground contact times and really low flight times. So they don't get very high in the air. So for us, this is a car, you know, it's a calf capacity issue. So we need to do basic, uh, basic car uh, strengthening drills. Towards the bottom right, the athletes who um, really quick, really quick off the ground. So less than zero point one eight seconds but they struggle to produce a large amount of force they struggle with the height so therefore we need to work on more um force production so your strength your strength speed type work right towards the top left are those athletes who've um got really good height but they struggle with the the ground contact time so there's where we need to work on the more stiffness drills and towards the top right is athletes We've got really good elements of both. That's where we can really delve into the sexy stuff, the, the shock plyometrics. Okay, so that's how we use our RSI testing to inform our programming.